Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about very important Java entry question. What is serial version UID and why do we need it and what is, what is the importance of serial version UID. As the name suggests, this serial version UID is used to store the class version ID which will talk about the version of a class and it is used in the serialization process to check whether the sender that means my mission receiver some other mission of the class are loading the same version of a class or not it means whether both class versions are compatible or not what do you mean by class version what do, what is the version of a class for example i have a class called public class employee okay and it has two attributes employee number and employee name okay then you uh, you release a jar with that employee with two attributes that becomes version 1 after three months you are releasing one more uh, jar with employee class employee with three attributes employee number employee name and department employee department okay like this okay employee department so this becomes this becomes the version 2 so that means the the data the class instance variables or member variables are changed have been changed so uh, so in order to maintain that you need a class version class ver class version okay and in the process of serialization is very very important because the sender and the receiver should have the same class version otherwise you will get invalid class exception let's see an example so that you can understand i i have a uh, on a the class called serial version demo and it, it has two attributes employee number and employee name i'm going to start the serialization okay let's debug and check what is happening here Okay, so I have started the serialization. It's going to serialize. It's going to create a file. Okay, so it has created a file. So it has created a file called serial version demo dot file. If you go to this one, the the file is created. So now I'm going to deserialize. But before that, this is class version one. Now I am going to add one more attribute department. Now I am going to deserialize it. Okay, let's see. So this version demo dot contains a class version one with two attributes employee number and employee name. Now I am going to deserialize the same file with the three attributes class. Okay. So we should get an error because the version class version one has only had only two attributes employee number and employee name the class version 2 currently has three attributes it should give an error let's see what is happening so i'm not serializing it i'm directly serializing it deserializing it okay i'm directly deserializing it so let's see this the this dot sir file contains class version 1 and currently i have class version 2 because version 2 because three attributes are there so here if you see it is giving a warning can you please add a serialization version id so that it will be useful to identify okay so i am going to use that when i read the object it's giving an exception let's see what it says so what it says is uh, so it says incompatible local class is incompatible and it says invalid class class exception because there are two versions with two attributes one version and with three attributes one version so class version two class versions are there that's why it says i can't do it okay so how do i avoid it let's li listen to this uh, warning so let's add this serialization id it has added one id okay this will take care of solving the problem so now i'm going to delete that file okay then i'm going to then i'm going to remove this i'm going to run the same things okay and let's see whether we are able to avoid the exception or not okay so I'm going to serialize 
now we have class version one that is two with two attributes okay so we have we have created the file good enough now I'm going to have the class version 2 but here only one change we have added is we are having the serial version UID some value is there okay now I'm going to deserialize directly from this file I'm going to create the object but the only change I have is third attribute is added and serial versions version is added let's see whether it solves a problem or not yes it's able to solve the problem if you see the object that it read Andrew and 1234 department becomes null whereas in the previous case when you don't add this it, it was giving invalid class invalid invalid class class exception okay so this is way this way you can avoid the invalid class class exception in your during the serialization process but this is not the way this is not good practice to have default uh, value you should generate using ser serial ver dot exe in the in your JDK uh, in the JDK bin directory you will be having serial ver dot exe using that you have to generate it that will that will be uh, that will be like a uh, exe which will generate an ID for you so using that ID you have to copy pa paste here and start using it that's a good practice okay so uh, this is what uh, this is what all about a uh, serial version U UID. It's a class version uh, meant, meant to maintain the class version during the process of serialization. Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. This interview question is very very important. Thank you and all the best for your interview. If you like this video, please press the like button. Thank you.